In this tutorial, we're going to be demonstrating the various ways in which you can move objects in Blender. The ability to move your objects is one of the most fundamental skills that any 3D artist needs to learn. In Blender, there are various ways to move your objects. But in order to move an object, you must first select it, which we can do so by left clicking on the model. In Blender, the model appears with a yellowish highlight to indicate that it has been selected. Now there are a few ways in which we can move this object. One of the easiest is to use the hotkey. To grab our object and begin moving it, we can press the G key. The outline appears white, and this allows us to move the object around our scene by using our free button mouse. We can position where we want to move our object to and left click to confirm. Now our cube object has a new location. I'm going to use the hotkey Ctrl and Z to undo the operation and bring it back to the center. We can also lock our location to the X, Y or Z axes. So to do this, hit G again to grab which allows us to move in three dimensions. You can see the delta x, y and z values, which are the values relating to the currently active tool in the top of the 3D viewport. We can lock to a specific axis by pressing x, y or z. If I press x, we lock it to the x axis. And you can see at the top of our 3D viewport that we are only moving along our global x-axis. I can press Y to lock it to the y-axis, and I can press Z to lock it to the z-axis. Note that we can also lock our location to a plane, so the x, y, and z planes. If I hold down shift and press X, I can lock the location of my object to the X plane, which allows me to move on the Y and Z axes. If I hold down shift and press Y, I can lock it to the Y plane, which allows me to move on the Z and X axes at the same time. Finally, we have shift and Z, which locks the object to the Z plane, allowing me to move my object on the X and Y axes. I'm going to hit the right mouse button now to cancel the operation. Up next we have the tools of the tool shelf. The tool shelf is located to the side of the 3D viewport. If you don't see it, so if your 3D viewport looks like this, then you can press the T key on your keyboard to bring in the tool shelf. The move tool is the third of these buttons that you see in this column left click and you will get a gizmo. This gizmo will feature colored arrows of red, green and blue to indicate the X, Y and Z axes. You'll also see three colored squares to indicate the X, Y and Z planes. If you click and drag on any of these arrows, you will be able to move your object on that respective axis. And if you were to click and drag on any of the three squares, you would be able to move your object on that specific plane. So that's how we use the move tool in our tool shelf. But we don't only have the hotkey and the tool shelf to work with when it comes to our transforms. If we press the N key on our keyboard, we can open up the side panel. Here in the side panel, we have access to the location, rotation and scale values as actual numbers. For example, I can click and drag on the Z location to move my object up and down on the Z axis. Alternatively, I can click on a value and type in how much I want to move my object by. Because we're using coordinate systems, we are set to 000. zero, zero. If I type in 1 for the Z axis, it moves my object to the coordinates of 0, 0, 1. I can also click 
and select multiple values and manipulate them all at once. Or I can just select any two of them and manipulate those two values. In addition to this, we also have the exact same tools available to us in the Properties panel. If you go to the Object tab of the Properties panel, you will be able to manipulate the location values on the X, Y and Z axes the same way that you can in the Side panel. So you can click and drag or you can type in any numerical value that you want to specifically position your object in your scene. The last thing I'm going to demonstrate here is the ability to move mesh objects within edit mode. To do this, we're going to go from object mode, which we can locate here and transition to edit mode. Here we can use the same hotkey, for example, which is the G key to move our geometry. So I can move this by a value on the Y axis and I'm going to type in two to reset the positioning of my geometry back to the center of my scene and then press enter. Be careful when you do this though, because when you manipulate the location in edit mode, you are changing the positioning of the geometry and not the object itself. So here we have the object origin, which is currently outside of our geometry. If I go into object mode and then rotate, which I can do so by pressing the R key to rotate, you will notice that the cube rotates around the object's origin. But because the object's origin is on the outside, the rotation behavior is different to what it was before. And that's one thing to keep in mind if you plan to manipulate the location of your geometry in edit mode rather than the location of your object in object mode. And that covers the fundamental ways in which we can manipulate the location of our model in Blender. The last thing I'm going to show you is just how to fix this issue where the object's origin is outside of our object. To reset, go to where it says Object in the 3D viewport, then go to Set Origin. From this menu, choose Origin to 3D Cursor, or in this case, Origin to Geometry, which is going to reposition the object's origin back into the center of our mesh. Thanks for watching guys, if you're interested in learning more about Blender, then check out the link in the description below. This will take you to the Blender Bootcamp, which is our own library filled with Blender learning resources such as classes, full courses, further tutorials, workshops and more. Check out the link in the video description and gain access to all of these resources for free for a 30 day trial period.